Descended from one of the first animals to breathe air, millipedes carry on an ancient lineage, with odor forming the cornerstone of an armory that has withstood the test of time. Occupying almost all terrestrial habitats, millipedes are extremely resilient and resourceful invertebrates. While the name of these armor-plated creepy crawlies derives from the Latin for thousand feet, no known millipede actually has this many legs, exhibiting a wide variety of shapes and sizes. Millipedes are distinguished by carrying two pairs of legs per body segment. But that's not all their bodies carry, with many species equipped with stink glands running the length of their flanks. A robust and diverse species there are approximately 12,000 types of millipede, each with a unique set of tools and skills to thrive within their given environment. With a preference for the moist conditions of the forest undergrowth, many millipede species do just as well on the dry desert sands. First animals to colonize the land, the fossil record shows that millipedes emerged from the water and adapted to breathe air over 400 million years ago. A significant head start in evolving their odorous defenses. Millipedes are primarily detritivores, consuming dead plant matter such as decaying leaves. A clever dietary adaptation, it provides an abundant food source in most habitats and means that millipedes serve an important role in aiding decomposition within their ecosystems. But moving slowly through the undergrowth, their diet places millipedes at risk of predation, and they rely heavily on their stinky emissions for protection. Lacking pincers for fighting, millipedes do not possess a sting, and their bite is good for little more than munching on leaf litter. Opting for neither flight nor fight, most threatened millipedes will curl into a ball, protecting their soft belly with their hardened exoskeleton. This defensive posture can be held until the attacker loses interest, persuaded in no small measure by the millipedes off-putting and even poisonous secretions. Microscopic stink glands, known as ozopores, run along the sides of the millipede's body. Releasing a mixture of irritants and toxic chemicals, the ozopores' secretions not only emit foul-smelling and tasting odors, but can burn the exoskeletons of insects, as well as the eyes and skin of larger predators. As effective as the millipedes' hazardous ejections may be, they are not foolproof. 
Crafty predators such as meerkats have learned to flip millipedes around in order to remove their defensive discharge before eating them. And in some cases, the millipede's chemical warfare has completely backfired, with primates deliberately antagonizing the poor creatures before using their secretions as insect repellent. Despite their odorous defenses having an Achilles heel, the indomitable millipede has more legs to stand on and continues to maintain a stronghold in its vast and diverse territories around the world.